Hello, Chess Fluence. This is Coach Andy. Today is February 3rd, 2022. Uh, today's topic is breakthrough. It's end game. So we are black. We have a knight and a bishop plus couple pawn versus a rook and a bishop. And uh, our pawn, this pawn is already going down. This pawn is in danger right now. And this pawn is good. So other this side is equal. And uh, so first thing, of course, there is a control here. So definitely we need to get rid of that bishop. How do we get rid of it? We, that we need to just take it. Okay. So there are no, almost no other thing we can think about. Just take it to see if it's working or not. And um, yeah, you can do this, but still, yeah, you lose a pawn, but you will lose two pawn. I'm not sure that's good. Okay. I'd like to keep more pawn on the board. Let's take it with knight. So we'll take it with knight. And um, here, if he don't take us back, okay, because he can take this pawn and do some check, I will go up there, nothing white can do. I have knight, bishop, uh, plus two pawn. It should be winning for white. Okay, so my knight can jump in around, grab some more pawn, actually. So this should be winning. So usually he should take, there are no other chance. He should take. Now we will push pawn check, basically force him moving away. Okay, now if he take, lure him over. If he takes, then we will push pawn, attacking the rook. And uh, after that, yeah, doesn't matter where he move, I will push in the queen. And he take, we take it back. We upper bishop plus this pawn, and it's winning. Okay, so totally. So that's good. Now let's consider other things. Okay, so after I take, he take, I push, check, he just go back. If we fall back, I will push again. Now the idea here is I will push here. Okay, I will try to go down and get his rook. And he had to come over, either go up or go down, doesn't matter, try to stop me go that. But I still push, let him take. Now after king take, here is the key point. We will push pawn. Basically this is attacking the rook. And also threaten promote here. So I have two square. After my pawn push, I have two square to promote. The rook here actually is helping us. Yeah, if without rook, he will take my bishop. Then after take a bishop, he guarding that. But with the rook, he take my bishop, I can take the rook. Okay, so that's good. Then it's a winning. So basically, I think that's the plan. Okay, and I, think, I don't see any big threat from white. And um, yeah. A lot of time, yeah, it's, you cannot calculate perfectly. Yeah, you get 90%. Yeah, you should be confident to move it. Okay, so now let's take the bishop. Good, he take it back. Now we give him a check. Good, he go back. Yeah, he doesn't want to take us. Now we start pushing forward. He go back. Okay, so here we will give him the pawn. Okay, so force him to take. So basically lure him over to here so I can have this square. Take it, yes, then I put this. It's done. Okay, so that's good. Let's look at small board to see some s small things. Okay, so after take, yeah, if we take this, of course, I will jump away the knight. And uh, this position, why black should be winning. Okay, I will grab some more pawn, push this pawn down, and um, it's, it should be easy win. Okay, then nothing we can talk about. And you have a check here, but that's nothing. I just moving up. Okay, so you cannot leave my knight there. You have to take me. After you take, I push, attacking your king. Now, if you take my pawn, I will push down. After I push down, I will either push down queen. You have to take me. I get a rook. Oh, yeah, you move away. Let's say you take this. I get the queen. It's a win for black. There's nothing you talk about. If you move this way, I will queen. You take, I take back. Now it's this. This is also nothing to talk about. Okay, so white, black is totally winning. Okay, so as soon as I get to here, it's a win. So he cannot give that square to me. That's the that's the breakthrough basically, and they talk about in the topic. Okay, the breakthrough. You want this pound breakthrough going down. Okay, so he had to go back. Block it, yeah, block us. Okay, it doesn't matter, he goes that way, it will be very, it will be same thing, I will just push down. Okay, he go back, now we push again, 
Now if we take now at this moment if we take the pawn I will push. If you follow my pawn I push queen. You're still losing the rook. And um, so he cannot take my pawn. He cannot let me go down. So he had to go here. Now the big problem here is the king is overload. Okay, so this overload is step two concept. Okay, he actually had to stop this, stop this. He cannot stop both. And here, very key point here actually. Actually, if there are no rook, he can stop both. Okay, the, the key point here actually right now is there's a rook. So it's the only difference. There's a rook on this side. So we will push this first, check. He takes and we push this. So now this one getting two. Yeah, take my bishop is too late. I will take the rook and the queen. Okay, so yeah, the rook here actually help us. If there are no rook, I still cannot break through. So if there are no rook, this actually is just kind of like fixed, stabilized. Because if I put this, he take, I put this, he can take my bishop. That's the problem. Like if you go here, I take, you go here, he take. Now it's everything gone. So you cannot break through, basically. But there's a rook. That's the only problem. The rook actually help us. Okay, so that's it. And um, yeah, so yeah, this is just end game. Okay, so I don't know which level. Okay, maybe it should be step five. Okay, step five, we have one chapter talking about breakthrough. Okay, the whole chapter, how to break through. Yeah, sometimes the pawn versus pawn just not. Here is pawn versus king. Okay, we try to break through the king's control of um, b2. Okay. Okay, so that's it. And I see you tomorrow.